early aggression. Nico is going to try and get something done here. The flash round actually gets nothing. Going to blind a couple of players, but Dirk gets the kill nonetheless. And already Magnum finding another one will leave us into an awkward position now for Wave. And they're getting, they're getting slaughtered. It's only Murray left and... Sure, he's on that Reina. Sure, he can maybe heal himself up if he gets a kill. But Mitch, I, I can't say I really believe in this one. Yeah, you know what, Tom? I'm I'm going to jump in that boat with you. Miri Mir might be able to catch one as they come out through the middle. Oh, but there he... Oh, what a nice little flick. That was, that was beautiful. But now they know where he is. And at this stage, his chances decrease significantly. We need quick headshots. We need big whiffs coming out of the side of uh Fnatic. right on it you said you know what i'm going for whatever teams mitch isn't and you were right so i'm keeping my mouth shut today although i've already kind of spoken at the start but anyways we'll move past that this is a buy round here and we're obviously looking at Fnatic as a bonus but they're still getting some damage done and making their way towards the site with 30 seconds on the clock it's time to plan there's two players down this alley ready to spam through that green box no safe haven for Fnatic to actually get a plant in and it looks like they might just have to go for a decently open one in fact trying to bait out utility and sprays at the very beginning and oh leaving Durka to go up Watch above for a kill. kill that's beautiful stuff with the spike B. still not down the problem that hasn't been standing. solved and now Dirk is all alone no oh, the right click into a dismissed Reina, he loses his knives and loses his lives. That is going to be two to one. A little bit absurd, but you know what? Th that is Dirk on Icebox. He is almost like that loose cannon that is just sent in to try and start things off for Fnatic. Here's the drone to start things off for Fnatic this time, but it hasn't spotted Muri, letting him get one and dismiss away. A teammate comes in, and it's Zeke, but he's on... Oh, hello! Big gap! They know the dome is up close, but the communication wasn't there. Wave! blindsided and the advantage they had just completely disappears Fnatic now on the side and, and this time the problems of the previous round won't come back to haunt them as they can just get that plant down nice and easily and wave have to answer back the good thing is though they've got sky to do it and the flash is about to come back online in fact the seekers used to buy that space but mystic oh, no. he gets ahead of the problem and takes them both down three to one Fnatic because they, they've got pistols and uh, we've seen what happened last time Fnatic got away with a flawless round bolstered their economy massively <gasps> but it's not gonna be flaw oh, oh no I was certain he was dead caught as he puts his wall up and still the classic just not strong enough the right clicks of all maybe just coming back for a second a glimpse into the past with Nico dropping two and it's like they've decided against it they have 55 seconds on the clock and a man advantage plenty to work with here and it looks like they're going to allow Durka to have a little bit of oh no they're actually going straight in for the plants and spamming back onto Zeke that's a nice little two man advantage and a spike plant with a viper's pit to protect yeah, I, I think they've just planned around what ultimate they were actually going to use in this round. They had so many available to them on that side that just completely ends the round. And I, I think realistically, Wave are already starting to look to try and back. Oh. Cow? That was from up on battle coming in. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> God. It's it that we, we call that the headshot <laughs> angle because normally it benefits the player on the defender's Ooh. side But when you're up against Dirk, it, it, it only gives him the head to aim at and this man doesn't miss an easy opener to start He's already starting to sneak through and actually the wall might end up hurting the opposition It's gonna be his teammates to pick up the final kills and sure he's lost all his knives But wave have already lost the round it makes save the rifles They've even been able to get themselves up that operator thanks to the blade storm in the previous round There's an opportunity and there's the opening kill in fact that's the spike oh, drop but no. Nico gets spammed right back through the tube and with him down the man advantage sits to Fnatic they've got a lockdown and a hunter's fury to play with and they're running right towards that B site where poor old Zeke is just waiting away with a bulldog the weakest weapon in play might have to be the strongest on this hold as it could have to pull off some sort of miracle he does have a rotation coming in from carcass but i just think it's going to be too little too late you've got the nano swarms trying to slow him down information also being garnered so carcass having to use the small amount of smokes he has to actually just keep himself alive and durka is just the gatekeeper at this point carcass has found himself at least something to maybe give them an avenue back into this round and you can see cider just trying to hold on the flank but there are now Two players just holding to make sure that he can't get anything done. Yeah, it's hard to imagine that this one works out. Cider on the way up. If he gets the first, the trade should be there. And in fact, it's very rare you'd even check the angle. 
the Magnum is on. He goes out staring at it. And it comes down to a one versus two. If time wasn't such an issue, this would probably be winnable for Carcass. But he also doesn't want to be losing that operator and running through the middle. It'll be a guaranteed win for Fnatic. Although they have lost a lot of weapons, it does little to console the seven to one deficit that Wave current Wave have left open. Are they going to do that filthy, like, elevated plant that just seems to be impossible to break back against? Like, they've done this a few times. Normally it involves Viper's Pit. They do. Somehow, though, this is actually going better than a lot of the other rounds. We've seen Zik now manage to find another pick. Oh, that was a moment for Carcass to actually turn the round. That would have made it almost impossible. And actually, we are going to see some ultimates thrown in. We've got the lockdown being put into place. Carcass now picked off, puts it back into a 3v3 situation. And we've seen the Seekers go through as well. But the problem is, they've still not planted. So that lockdown is looking to be in a good position here, even coming into the next rounds. And Zeke with 86 HP and no shield. So there's the first from the top rope. That's a good start, leaving Magnum on 15 HP. But it's, uh, it's, a, it's a shame. It really is. But I guess they probably put a few more. In than we do. Carcass Spike put a few bullets in. Doma's down straight away. Durkin manages to return it to Cider, and this Killjoy ult is going to push them completely off the A site, garnering full control to Fnatic. And as aforementioned, they've got that Viper's Pit now to even the odds or push them a bit in their favor. Yeah, it's going to be popped almost instantly. Now, there is an Empress on the other side, but I don't think it's going to have the same sort of impact. Mystic is already going to be picking off one. He's got Durka lurking around the back, but actually he goes pushing, and they lose Mystic as well. The worry here, though, is there's still a Hunter's Fury if they even need to use it. And Magnum, up close, they don't even expect Boaster to just be hiding in the corner. Why would you? He yeah, this time, of course, it's not like one of those rounds where he just has the Blade Storm, so he still has a rifle to boot. Zick, this is aggressive. And no I don't know, no maybe, maybe gets a little bit frightened by the amount of players spotted on the other side. And eventually, he's going to get cleared. The Hunter's Fury definitely helping there. It's been used at least. Nick trying to do his best. And actually, he's got two. 30 seconds a good left. opportunity here. Cider in the right place, but not quite the right timing. And now only two remain. It's going to be Carcass, who's been spotted as well, as if it isn't already difficult enough. And Nico, Spike planted. Oh, he's a little bit low, and unfortunately, unlike Sage, can't heal himself. Got you. Yeah, that's a little bit of a problem on 36 HP. As they come into the site, Carcass is going to be the one to do the heavy lifting, at least you'd hope so. That's where the Blade Storm comes out. Not going to use that operator as a shotgun when you basically have a shotgun! Nice shot onto Magnum, but ultimately, it will amount to nothing. 11. I don't think, uh... Who? Even looking back at Breeze and how it's been played out, I'm very excited to see Fnatic's take on it. Like, I, I want to see what they do yeah. in this series. At the same time, with such a dominant first map, I'm like, are, are they really going to end up in a spot where, where they show everything right now? I think that no. they'll probably be much, much looser on Breeze, and what we're going to see from them in the next map is not... Triple Duelist? Oh, well, let, let's not be ridiculous now, Tom. Please. Who would do that other than... Oh. <laughs> Fanatic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying it's impossible, I'm it. just saying I don't want it. Oh, Mystic through his own wall and he takes oh, down Zeke. This is like a final nail in the coffin. If Wave lose this pistol, it is without a doubt over. And indeed, it's looking like it might be Carcass. The final remaining member has a 1v4 in his hands, and these players are just destroying him through that cloud burst before he even sees a victim. He's uh, a player, he's 5 HP. The one where you almost get to the stage where you're like, okay, they're just running around also he's hit for 20 uh, acs just so i'd point that out enjoy that chat and i'm actually you guys love the the funny numbers haha -ha. but uh yeah throw over to b just to save from spawn so he, he doesn't he's not late to the a site and it's a good job because there's lots of players coming into a looking to take the site boaster goes straight through that poison orb ends up down on 2 hp some of that will regen up though and as we end up in a advantage again for Fnatic, Wave, they need to find something. They need a hero in this round to keep them alive and give them a shot to at least get more than the one on the board. And it might just be Muri. There's the first kill for the Reyna. He's been kind of quiet, but in some rounds, those 2Ks, those 3Ks, they come in. Use the dismiss instead of the heal, so now he's very low. And up on the rope, Zeke is taking a lot of damage. Mystic able to close one out, but the spike has made it to the side. It looks like it might even be planted until Zeke is left alone and taken down. Three take of Breeze. Spike planted.
Uh, they've at least played it a few different times. Zeke already is going to be able to find himself one. You've got Doma lurking around the side of the site, hoping for those closer battles. And all on the other side, there's still a fair few investments into these ghosts, giving them maybe a slight advantage here. Sider already turning the corner as Zik does manage to find one. And actually, they're going to try and use some of that Viper utility, but the sneak through comes in for Boaster. He manages to bypass him. It's nothing. And the Bulldog is now going to receive an upgrade off the back of that. For a second, I thought that that, uh, that switch was a gun, a rifle poking through. It's like, well, how's he done that? But now, the switch is no more. It's been opened, and Durka just runs through the doorway, taking another another kill this is a speed run of a bonus round from fanatic and, and again a bonus round that's what this is wave have rifles on a map that has a lot of long range opportunities and despite bulldogs and specters being in play fanatic have a 4v2 post plans and wave are already spotted coming out of spawn there is nothing going their way has he just tried to jumping one tap someone with a sheriff I through a smoke? The effort. You know that's, what? That's that's my sort of play. Gotta shoot your shot, don't you? And Ooh, well, okay. a couple of shots being shot out. Wish there was another word for that. By a wave, they're managing to find themselves into a 3v3. Again, the retake having to be found, but they seem to be making decent progress until Magnum and it just destroys their hope. Comes up behind, completely shreds them. Just snuck a cam onto the site. <laughs> yeah, he is watching you at all times. Carcass, though, he's got his operator in play. This is where the game might change. He got two in that shot. A two for one. He didn't even know the second player was there. Oh, that is a, a little bit of bad luck for the side of Fnatic. And an explosive first round looking likely now. 15 seconds for Boaster to try and make it. Here Stop peeking oh him. Stop. Peaking him. That is three kills in the space of a few seconds. Yes, the remaining players are just going to hide. They're going to hide. I said they're going to hide. <laughs> Stop peeking. Oh, man. Cider really wanted that kill. Everyone did. There we oh, go. So irritating so far, but we're back to what we know and love. This basic execute that's coming through from Fnatic. Sectioning off the site, but there's a few counters now. The spam through finds the first. Card. To the site. That's the kill that he needed, but now his position is given away, and the legwork has to be done by the rest of the squad. Still a heavy stack on the A side, and Fnatic probably don't have a notion that this is the case. Nico, well, he's not going to last very long, nor is Muri. This is a dominant round, at least bouncing back into it, with Durka being in the one versus one, an operator and a blade storm in play. The spike to go down, and Cider known to be playing B. Durka, oh, the little fake cloud burst down on the left side, as he's just going to wait, hopefully bait that player into the open into open combat Ooh. and now he spotted him the information to play with on both sides but the clock plays for Durka Cider is creeping over but that operator is trained on the angle and Durka just doesn't miss nice little gift already the flash gonna be coming through that's pretty, that's pretty nice, nice. Nico, what okay two kills you take that one all day long now can he get anything more yes it's gonna be Cider on the other side who's managed to pick off another one and and ready to play on contact. They have a camera watching the walkout. Now Boaster's dead. He's going to be swung on. And that's it. Very, very nice round from Wave. Thus far, though, I noticed... Lit this through into the A site using the door. And they've attempted that once. Now, they bait Zik into the open. Muri's still going to be here. But he's also been punished multiple times trying to face off versus these players. And in the meantime, Boaster is trying to find one with the Hunter's Fury. But Nico and Carcass have gone huge. Oh, they're back. They are back in the saddle wave. I've started to find the rhythm. Here's the sheriff from Mystic, though. Good for one. The flash. Oh, that's that's done him. Surely. Somehow he survived. But as he goes back out, there's three players ready and primed to take him down. And Boaster falls, leaving a third in the hands. Rotate. You're screwed. We already have Carcass again. Aggressive position. Dash out. Exactly what he needed to do. Starting to, to play Durka's game for him, in a way. Like, this is something that... Oh, hold on. Let's just... Put that point on the back burner because it looks like we're having a B hit right off the bat insider. He's using that wall that we talked about earlier, but now he's completely out of juice, and so they have to go out for the peaks. Boaster being swung on from every angle at this point surely doesn't stand a chance, and yet they're not in sync, and so he's able to offer up a couple of 1v1s and put it into a 1v3. We've already seen what Boaster can do in these situations when all he has to rely on is his aim, and again, another headshot to be connected. The spike Planted four bullets in the chamber and a oh. wide swing from Zeke will get the round on the board, but that came 
dangerous it begins and with only two defenders and a sort of rotation having to come in they're reliant on these couple of players and carcass is only going to get one cider though however has brought this back into an advantage and now the rotation is coming it is he's been wall banged up though the hunter's fury seeks him out and dirk is the one to finish him pushed out of position 15 seconds remaining that spike needs to get planted and it's only on its way to the cross now the orb is going to go up but if he falls on the way through boaster might just lose the round from that alone it looks like he'll get the plant as durka picks up a fourth seeking the ace out now they can play this one together the steps heard nico swings and he's only good for the one that is over look at doma Right away, ready to just go on through. They're going to pop a wall. This is being saved in the... Oh, oh no. no! A complete whiff there falling down from the top of the wall. Good intentions, but not good results. Man, disadvantage to play with Viper's Pit down on the B site, but they bypassed it completely. Yeah. Now coming in behind it from middle. And that plant can actually be secured. But look at Cider. He's not staying inside the ult. Instead, realizing these players might, in fact, decide to go onto the back site. He's looking for them and trying to seek them out. But as of yet, spotting absolutely nothing and then gets completely torn by Durka. Poster with another leaves Nico by himself, Tom. It's a 1v3. It's been a messy round, one that's hard for Wave to keep track of. And We've got the drone coming through, trying to clear some of these closer angles. And Mystic's going to get attacked. He's screwed. That is a really strong out drone over the top. He's taken off the middle of the site. And now the two players actually kind of isolated by the box they're going to try and wrap around the back of the site get themselves close to the pyramids or madonna as it's so called by pansy and boaster he looks like he's about to make something fairly oh. risky it's actually magnum that gets that kill though finding it from afar one enemy remaining well they've put themselves into a man advantage on the wave side and gotten the plant in that's something to play with and look at z coming right up behind doma has absolutely no idea and he's been spotted down below the drop shot what? not going to land doma in fact able to pop a heal off the back and he'll have a little bit of hp to duel these players with a headshot will finish him off but he can do the same to them both being sub or equal to 100 hp carcass closes it out though my feet dropped for a second there tom but i'm i'm back i think we're good to go you can see at the moment on the back side here boaster he's been huge in the past vandal in hand but this time it's a phantom the silenced weapon Let's see if he can make some big noise with it the flash around the back side isn't going to reveal him they don't know where he's gone but zeke quickly spots him and the mid control that was left in the hands of cider lurking around yields big results mystic the final player spoke about these seekers and their farming of them up and it's going to be a very fast take in but cox is already dead he's been caught by utility oh look at that around the edge of the cage as well magnum doing damage and even taking a further kill but it's not enough not yet at least they're going to get onto the site and have a spike plant with viper's pit to fall back into fanatic find themselves on the back foot with very little to answer back in with of course with this operator it makes it very difficult to play inside of that viper's pit instead dirk will be looking around the edges for a victim and and indeed they might just find one because Zeke has been spotted his cage is there but it doesn't provide the protection he hoped for and now cider post plant setups on their way he has a poison orb i presume indeed so that time is going to run down even further and then he can look to swing and stop it right at the very edge of the clock but the wall is in play and he only realizes it now as he comes into as oh he's got through this could be a huge problem it all depends how quickly they get through things on the site but he's going to be coming around behind first one goes down and doma has done an incredible job himself now leaving it all onto zik the last man standing and it is going to be site right now where fanatic have left just a so oh no doma's going through and that lurk pays off massively muri has cut him down and left magnum with no rotations and they've even gotten rid of him the side is theirs and a 2v4 right when they need it wave are back in the game 10 seconds left spike planted oh, mystic's gonna be caught murray's lurk for them and fanatic have made the adaptation now and playing super passive but actually oh, stacking it up and a huge fake sold on the back of the seekers the drone and the push out to the a side oh, even the kill from Murray. they walk straight through viper's pit and mystic is caught oh, with his pants beautiful. down exactly that these have been some phenomenal calls over the last few rounds from wave that is a risky play to make they throw two players into the a side as well murray is still holding two there there are still two players on a they've had to throw in that res to bring one of them back and he's killed off another while carcass defends murray has got three kills on a fake on a it leaves just durka left alive a 1v4 scenario <laughs>
<laughs> the fake gets more kills than the actual execution. That's ridiculous. Well, I don't think Dirk is getting away with this one, Tom. It would be ridiculous if he did it as well. And it, well, <laughs> he's going to keep them on the side, I guess. Run down that uh, that economy as much as he can, because he's certainly not winning it. And it's so. definitely a very costly piece of weaponry that's gone out of this round. It's back. They've now got the site with the standard A hit we've talked about many a time, and it looks like they're set to close this one out. Very, very weak weapons for Fnatic coming in on this retake. Durka starts it off well with one on the Guardian, and a second, in fact, he is clocking up kills, but eventually completely dealt with. And it seems like only a matter of time until this round goes their way, but maybe not. Nico has to do it all. A one versus two, and oh. the first is found. Boaster creeping up behind with just 45 HP. A Guardian in hand. He needs the headshot, and it's Nico that will find it. Thir it's more common. Now, look at Fnatic right off the bat. They're on the attacking side, and they're already in hookah. Rushed on in with the usage of a fault line. And that's given themselves, that's given them the opening. What's Muri doing here? He's just ran in at them. They're going to crunch right into Hookah, and it hasn't worked out with Zeke and Muri both falling. It's now a two man disadvantage for Wave on the retake. Spike planted. Yeah, both players coming in from Hookah, and I think they're just trying to sneak their way through. It's a trade, but that's enough for Doma. A third kill already for him in this round. The Al drone, as pricey as it may be, is going to give them every single piece of information that they need. And realistically, I was going to say Carcass has no chance, but he now should have a decent idea, at least where one of these players... Oh, he isolates the battle with Durka, but he was actually pretty strong as well. Those flashes right. are so strong, man completely blinded up in the corner. Zeke does get traded out, though, as he continues forward, and Fnatic end up with at least something to to show for it. In fact, I think even an upgraded weapon off of that. Oh, Mystic, though, caught by the double push down middle. That's the spike in extra utility, if there is any available. Of course, we can't see... Oh, no, we can see the stars. I, did, I, I didn't even notice that that was at it. Maybe I'm just a little bit blind, but it is still going to be the trades anyway. Leaving Durka, last man standing. Like all the way through to long. Now, with the wall that, that's coming up here from Wave, this almost provides him that opportunity to drone through. If he can manage to tag one of them up, knowing that the other is potentially on the spike when they do go in for it, that clock could definitely be an ally of his, but the wall is going to be... Oh, now it goes up! Oh, what a shot by Durka! The drone out will provide the tag, and now it's trouble, because the wall bangs can come in. He's out of ammo, just going to pop the recon, buy that little bit of extra time, and try to catch him. Oh, look, shock darts as well on the way. It's nasty, but oh. Durka won't get it done. The time is got so it. low, though. Yuri only gets it halfway. He got the tag, he might actually go for it. Of course, yeah, then hellfire. it almost fades off. We're going to see the orbiter strike this is just an ultimate round being thrown in fanatic putting everything to make sure they get into the site and well it has worked pretty damn well that it has the plant is already coming in and the orb oh, just about stolen away carcass not it wasn't able to get it actually i thought he did just goes no abilities for you and <laughs> just runs through and headshots everyone carcass aggression though it pays off initially, but now the battle for bathrooms has only gone Fnatic's way. Carcass, though, repositions again. He's just nailing everyone with the operator. Three kills off the back of the sniper. And this time, they're a little bit more prepared for Durka. No more miracle clutches as Wave will take their first round. It wouldn't be ideal. Both teams actually going for information plays at almost identical times. The site completely smoked, but it's this man again. Carcass's operator being a huge difference within this series. Aggressive plays. Now, site has been caught there a multitude of times. Like, that aggressive peak just hasn't been working out for him again. We're going to see the orbital strike to actually try and deny the rotations, but Nico's doing a good job of holding on to long. Guess who it is? It's Carcass once more. He's found himself three already for the second time. They've won two rounds, or one round so far. This might be the second. And all of it just seems to be coming off the back of this operator. Doma even going to get tagged up by the aftershock, leaving him on 30 HP. Yeah, and they've spotted him coming back as well. Zeke's finger is on the trigger, ready to just pop off. But no. Doma catches the headshot. There's no time. time. No, no, no way he gets there in time. This is the end of the round. And a second on the board for Wave. 
Yeah, I would have needed actually a, a few more seconds to be able to get that. Pay yeah. attention to him and you see what he can do. But Nico, oh, he's going to be the star of this that round because that's the spike dropped right at his feet. This could be a big play if he can manage to find yeah, that second did. kill on long. And with Zeke on the back side, he is just tearing this team apart. Eventually taken down, but it doesn't matter if Nico falls. It is. That's wonderful. They put him in aggressively. Oh, no. Carcass, he's not going to get out of there. He's caught the edge. Oh, we ran it and raved about him, and we've cursed him as usual. Magnum is going to end up finishing off the second as Zik goes down. And while well, it's looking like another afterplant, unless Sider can pull off a miracle play. Yeah, this would be, I think, his first kill on the board if he can get it done, and there it is. Let's see what else he's got up his sleeve now. Something to work with, but here's the Viper's Pit. Mystic couldn't use it earlier on, but now it's active and Yuri's down. Numbers starting to dwindle over on the wave side, and control into this side is pretty much non-existent. Wouldn't be surprised to see a save being called, but it looks like they still want to send it and try to make this one happen. Cider sneaks into the Viper's Pit. There's the kill. Mystic now has no Viper's Pit. It falls down, opening the side up completely. But the post plan setup is strong. They're going to be able to play from back. I think they have a Molly on the way. Indeed, it's just landed, pushing Cider off it. They try to force the duels instead. But now, all of Wave are dead. It was going to see Magnum take a little bit of a tag. Cider now realizing that they're coming through. Now, Boast has done well to catch off these players through the bathrooms and he will do so once again the plant already coming through magnum with the sneaky play through is already going to pick off another a good execute from fanatic piecing things together and zik last man standing one versus four i think this nebula might actually be the death of him he's hoping to try and find something the trace is coming through and doma he's been so good over the last few rounds and I, I feel like this is what fanatic have adapted okay you want to get aggressive we're just going to wait patiently. We're going to watch for you to make these pushes. We'll throw in a few fast rounds as well that you can't get complacent. And again, this is why we give Boaster's calling so much credit. Like, he just seems to have the right gauge on what the opponents are doing in the majority of the round. Now they're even going to switch things up. And no while Zeke, he goes, oh, you, you've got orbital strike. I'll try throwing one back to at least give us a chance. But realistically, they're taking so much damage in these circumstances that even though the full defense has rotated, they're now going to get ulted again. Sider and Yuri both won away from their ultimates. They are so close to having game changers in their hands, and it's going to be the flash out that makes the attempt He's to follow through. through. And Sider, what? he has absolutely destroyed them right through the TP, sneaking behind enemy lines. That, that was glorious. And if they win this pistol, they're back in it, Tom. But Wave, they're already off to a bit of a rocky start with Daddy Doma taking down one. But they've answered back. They've got the sight, and they've got the plan. Man advantage for Wave. And there's no flank either. They're all coming in from similar directions. The aftershock might help them a little bit with clearing some of these angles. Boaster, though, not winning the dual carcass again. Going strong with the pistol. And well, Durka, he is going to help get some help, I should say. The aftershock clearing the angle at least. Magnum down to 5 HP. It leaves Durka to do the heavy lifting. But that's what he does best. Set him up, put him in position, and watch him roll through these rounds. This time, no carcass is there to shut him out. It's going to be left all on... To Magnum, and as said, he was far. To see the Molotov alongside a, a snake bite to try and clear the back. The problem is they haven't dealt with Durka. He's going through. He's just pushing all the what? way in. Man is mad. But you know what? His teammate enemy lines in another way. His steps, though, giving away the fact that he's still here. He will. Oh, he won't TP because he actually gets caught on the way through, leaving Nico all alone with a guardian in hand and not much hope. Double digits now reached for Fnatic and Wave are looking a little bit shaky here on the attack. The one good thing that we can look to is that ult economy is about to come online for them, although the same can be said for Fnatic. Magnum ready to answer back with an aftershock and peek right after his disappears. That's so good. That is so good. The reaction, the confidence that his teammate had him covered, now oh, they're even no. contemplating the rolling thunder, and it looks like inside of Hookah is where that one's going to go down, leaving Cider none the wiser, not able to do anything, and Aftershock in play pushes Nico completely out as the rest of his team falls to smithereens. That 
is a Rolling Thunder themselves. Now, the last couple of times we've seen them pop this almost straight into the Lamp's position. This time, though, they've cleared out Heaven. They found Doma early, so never mind. That ultimate isn't going to play a part, but they haven't cleared the Lamp's. Never mind. Zeke comes through as the last man to find that player and leaves it on to this clutch master again. The first man falls in the one versus two. The second likely to go as well. Durka looking to end it all, but Zik will hold on. Wave will go a little bit longer. My hair is still. That was a bit scary. A lot of 1v1 fights offered up and cashed in on. And Fnatic, as we mentioned, they have got a every single time. Going to give away so much information, but they actually deny with the spray through and, of course, the combination of the snake bite. We know the vulnerability makes this phantom as deadly as any gun you can oh, find. Already putting them into a four versus four, but the push isn't stopping. They are still going into A. Welcome to my world. Oh, the Viper's Pit activated. Boaster almost had a swing on site, but has to fall back. Hunter's Fury ends up connecting and Cider falls. It's all down, down to Zeke. He has the spike and he's running to B. A 1v4 and Dirk is already here, creeping his way into elbow. Oh down. man, because you know Zeke's going to peak spawn, but does he check this? Does he oh, ever check elbow? What? Of course he doesn't. Putting 13 on the board for Fnatic and securing them the next round of the lower bracket.